and we are back. This time I'm going to show you how to create an orthogonal cube in Adobe Illustrator. Let us use the line segment tool. I've got a black stroke color and no fill. You could simply click on the blank artboard, but I just want to drag it and hold shift. I've got only a stroke weight of one point. Let me align it properly. And this is our first side of our right side of the cube. Make sure it's selected, then go to Effect, Distort and Transform and then Transform. At first preview should be activated. And as an angle we need three sides and that means that one point will go 360 degrees divided by three. And here you can already see the rotation, but we need a copy, so we'll change that to one. And now we can see that we've got two lines, but we need to readjust our transformation to this top point. If it's a line, it doesn't matter if it's top in the middle or left, but you should use the top left. Click on OK. Oh, we've got two lines now and we want to transform them further. Once again make sure it's selected, go to effect and then reuse the effect that we've already used which is the free transform. Click on preview and you can already see that both lines are now transformed and we want to reflect them, the x and the y axis and we need an angle of zero. It is, it's perfectly reflected, but we need to readjust the center point. You can see what happens there. So just change it to the center, click on OK, and this is our right hand side. Now, your first instinct might be to just expand the appearance and you're done, but you shouldn't do that. I'm going to show you what happens if you do that. Let me select it, I go to object and expand the appearance and now I'll go to object, path and join the path and I swap the colors so that we have a fill and a stroke and now look at the corners. It's always a problem when you use these transform effects. They use a center point that is affected by the stroke weight. So the better way is to, before you expand your appearance, to swap the colors. So we'll give it a fill and no stroke. And if you now select it, go to object and expand the appearance. And again objects and path and join the path. And if we zoom in, we can now see that the corners are perfectly aligned. So do that first, swap the colors and then expand the appearance. Now we need to rotate tool, press R for that and we'll go to the anchor point, hold ALT and left click. Let me zoom out so that you can see what's happening here. So I hold ALT, left click with the rotate tool on the top anchor point. We need once more 360 degrees divided by 3, which is 120. And we've got our second side. Simply press Ctrl D and we've got our third. And now we've got our orthogonal cube already done, but we can change the fill color, use different shades of gray. Just like this. If you want to give it a stroke, just select it all. I will give it a red one as our background is white so that you can see it better. And you can see that the stroke isn't perfectly aligned. Let me zoom in. I'll open the stroke menu on the window stroke or click on this little icon up here and we'll need to change the corners to round join. Bevel creates kind of an indent 
We don't want that. We want to have a round job. And it also looks good on the sides. The cap doesn't really make a difference. Yet. But you can see the round joint is affecting the corners as well. And this is how you can create such an orthogonal cube in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.